Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kicking the Bass. Uh, I'm going to do a two-part video uh, series on installing an anchor trolley on my on my kayak. Uh, for those of you all who haven't who haven't followed or, or new subscribers, um, I've done a uh, I, bought, I bought a feel free lure uh, last year and uh, and I love it uh, and I've made some adjustments to it and. Uh, I'm trying to get it better, and uh, one of the things I've noticed I really need is an anchor system, and I'm going to do it the right way the first time so that uh, uh, so that I can enjoy it better out on the water. Uh, I did have some uh, some instances where I really needed the anchor system, and the way that I had it set up first is just an anchor on a on a cleat uh, really uh, didn't fit my needs, I, so I decided to go with an anchor trolley system, which is what uh, this uh, two-part series is going to be about. Uh, first part of this, I'm going to show you the uh, uh, all the things that, that I will need to install, and then the second part will be the actual installation itself. Uh, so without further ado, let me uh, let me show you guys the uh, the boat that it goes on, or my uh, my kayak, and then uh, and then we'll go into what I'm going to use to uh, to install these uh, this anchor trolley system. Okay, as you can see, this is my uh, my this is my feel free. Uh, as you've seen in my previous videos, uh, I I love it. Uh, it. It does wonders for me. I've caught a lot of fish on this, and I uh, plan on catching a lot more. Uh, very comfortable. Like I said, the the seat was the selling point of it. I love the seat. Uh, plenty of room. Uh, it holds my big my big body. But uh, this is what it's going to go on, and I want to install a uh, a anchor trolley system so that I can uh, I can adjust where, where I anchor up uh, so I can have the boat uh, boat facing the right way uh, whether I want to go downwind upwind and don't have to worry about uh, current uh, flipping me uh, on certain conditions so without further ado let's go into what uh, what what I'm going to use to uh, set this up um, first thing I did was I went out and got myself the uh, the Yacht Gear uh, deluxe anchor trolley uh, I am not. I'm not sponsored by Gat Gear. Uh, just uh, looking over all the products out there, this one seemed to be the uh, most affordable, and looks like it still get the job done. So, uh, uh, Yak Gear is the uh, who I decided to go with on this. Uh, this is the Yak Gear Deluxe Anchor Trolley System. I went with a three-pound uh, anchor, grapple anchor kit. This is also by Yak uh, by Yak Gear. Uh, I got all these at uh, at Academy. Uh, this setup ran me under under 50 bucks, so uh, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, okay, uh, tools that I'll be using uh, for today's uh, for the for the installation of this. Uh, of course, you got your Phillips screwdriver. That's a must. Uh, they recommend uh, during this installation that you use a screwdriver on the screws and not a uh, not a drill, because <coughs> the last thing you want to do is uh, strip out. Uh, strip out your holes, being that you're uh, drilling holes into your kayak. Uh, also some uh, silicone, silicone sealant, that'll come in handy later. Uh, I also bought a, uh, a float to go on my line. So this is, uh, this way I can uh, I can release release the line if I need to in an emergency situation or uh, or where I need to uh, fight in a big fish or something and, and, and I don't want the, the line getting away. Uh, I can release and then uh, come back to my anchor later. So uh, uh, that, that was a must, dollar, about a dollar or something to buy a little float. Uh, of course, you're going to want a, some type of marker. You know, I'm going to use this uh, 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 Milwaukee, uh, but these are nice little markers to use for marking your holes. I uh, don't know if I'm going to need this. Uh, this D-ring or not, but I, I got it just in case. I haven't decided yet. I want to try to see if I can use it as a some type of quick release from my, the end of my anchor. Uh, don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I also have a cleat here, although I don't know if I'm going to need the cleat itself uh, because uh, this does come with a uh, this this kit does come with a mini uh, zigzag cleat that I might be able to use instead instead of putting the cleat on the top of my uh, my kayak. Don't know yet. Um, I, I myself prefer I'm going to going to use a uh, rivet gun uh, for the eyelets uh, because I prefer rivet over screws. Uh, that's just a personal choice. Uh, I've used rivets in the past; they they hold up a lot better. Uh, you don't have to worry about them uh, coming loose and 
And uh, I just think that that's just the way to go. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, the screws that come with it are just are, are fine. Uh, I'm sure it'll do well. I just uh, I'm a little more comfortable with a rivet. So I bought uh, I got a rivet gun and a uh, and some rivets that I'm going to use for the eyelets when I get to that part of the installation. Uh, of course, you're going to need a wrench or a, a set of pliers. Um, uh, your drill, uh, drills, uh, drill with some drill bits. And here's my drill bits. This is just something I bought a couple years ago, but uh, still uh, still works great for me. So, um, and uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, like I said, this all uh, this all cost me under well, this the whole the setup cost me under 50 bucks. I uh, didn't have to buy any of the extra tools because I already had the tools. So. Uh, uh, can't beat can't beat that price for uh, for a good day of fishing and enjoying on the water so uh that's that's the uh that's the breakdown of what i'm going to be using for the install uh and it's all going to go on this uh gem right here this is my uh my pride and joy uh, this is my feel free lure 11.5 kayak if you can see it uh taking it out many times i love it uh i will most likely uh install this on the left side of my kayak uh, just for simple fact that I, uh, I usually store my my paddle when I'm done paddling uh, and anchor up. I usually store that on the right side, and I just don't want to get uh, get it hung up in the uh, in the anchor line. So I'm already going to do it on this side over here. But uh, as you can see, that's a uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this will do it for uh, for part one, and uh, I will uh, have part two up showing the actual installation here shortly. So uh, appreciate you all uh, dialing in. And uh, if you uh, if you liked the video, please hit like, uh, subscribe if you're a new subscriber, uh, and uh, and I appreciate it. You guys, have a good day, and uh, make sure you get good kick in the bass for those who don't know what fishing is all about, and uh, get them energized. Thanks, you guys. Have a merry Christmas.